Canon's PowerShot G7X Mark III is a nice little camera. It's great for casual video production and general photography. It can also stream directly to YouTube, but the included manual doesn't tell you how. So let's go over the steps so you can start live streaming with your G7X Mark III. Now first, we have to assume that you have a Wi-Fi connection with decent speed. After all, you'll be streaming high definition video, so fast Wi-Fi is a must. And you should set up your camera and do all of your streaming as close to your wireless router as possible. Okay, first, you'll need a YouTube account, and you'll need to make sure you enable live streaming. Log into your account, go to youtube.com slash features, and click enable under live streaming. You'll need to go through a brief verification process, and you should also take the time to check out your live stream options, including what your streams will be titled. Once that's set up, you'll also need a Canon Image Gateway account. Go to canon.com slash CIG and create an account. You can use your Facebook or Google logins, but I prefer to create a new one. Once you have an account set up, you'll need to link your camera to it. So turn on your PowerShot G7X3 and make sure you've already entered the correct time and date. Next, press the wireless button on the side and choose the cloud icon. Now is the time to connect your camera to Wi-Fi. Enter your network settings, and once your Wi-Fi is connected, enter your email address. Then enter a four-digit verification code. Canon will send you an email that should arrive right away. And if you don't see it, be sure to check your spam folder. That's where mine ended up. This link will bring you to Canon Image Gateway. Follow the instructions on the screen. Press the wireless button on your camera and choose the cloud icon to update web service. Be patient. After a minute or so, you'll see a new icon on your camera, Canon Image Gateway. Now this isn't what we need to stream, but it's important to have this set up on your camera. Now log into your Canon Image Gateway account and you'll see your camera listed under Registered Wi-Fi Products. Click on that, then click on Web Service Settings. Then find the live streaming icon and click Settings. You'll need to agree to the privacy policy to continue, and again, make sure your YouTube account is set to allow live streaming. Then on the Web Service Settings page, under Display on Product, turn your live streaming on. One more step. Go back to your camera's wireless menu, and again, click the cloud icon to update web service. Give it a moment, and lo and behold, you now have a live streaming option in your wireless settings. Now you'll need a memory card in your camera to use the service, so make sure you have one ready to go. Then, just click on the live streaming icon, let it connect, and you're finally ready to go live. It'll even let you know the title of your stream, which you can edit in your YouTube settings. Then just tap record on the screen and you're online. And don't forget, you can use an external microphone with the G7X Mark III, so you can get great sounding audio even with a little point and shoot camera. So there you go. Once you have everything set up, live streaming is really just a matter of a few taps. Just remember, never reset your camera's wireless settings or you'll have to go through all of this again. So have fun with your PowerShot G7X Mark III, and if you don't have one yet, you can get yours with fast, free shipping at Cometa.com.